Hello, welcome back to freeexcellearn.com. This is tutorial number 18. Here I show the rest part of user form list box uses as grid for data edit. So let's go for write the code under list box 1 I just copy it and paste it to here now the text box will be this is text box 1 2 3 and 4 4 number is serial number ok so double click number 1 number 2 number 3 and number 4 and of course the condition will be this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 and this is 1 so let's run the code user form 3 oops they have some problem so uh, sorry actually I have done some mistakes it starts uh, as list box list box start from 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 and 0 number will be 4 I just edit this and after that the serial number will 1 2 and 3 ok let's go I click on it and I see it to this ex text box Shoeb Akhtar that is here Kakuli Bishash also here this is serial number of Kakuli Bishash this is serial number of Moina Khan ok I am just write the code now under this text box up uh, under this command button sorry this command button ok let's go for write the code here ok at first I declared the variable the variable is e row a as integer and we will run a loop the loop name will be as integer for x ok sorry I put right as double time and now I declared the e row of a the e row of a will be control v e row of a this is e row code and now I write a loop here x equal to 2 to e row a and next ok and in this text in this loop we will write the code that it may pass the value from text box to excel sheet so on first we will check our serial number that is what is the serial number of abid or uh, what is the serial number of kakuli we get it from here so we will check the condition by this text box so I am going here 
and the check box will be if SSWT sheet one dot C E L L S cells dot sorry value equal to by which object the object is me dot text text box four okay because the text box four show the serial number so these will be text box four and then then and enter I complete the if statement by end if and then the cell position will be e for x comma by which column as this is in column a so we will check this column a value to our text box value and if this condition is right then then we will update all of our information that means we will send that text box value to the excel sheet okay so we will write down here shwt sheet one dot c e l l s cells dot value and the value will be from where that is text box sorry uh, actually i can copy this from here also because these are all the same and i just change it after my copy paste data then as i will pass only three column value because i do not want to change serial number value because this is the unique number and by this unique number you can define a row okay so i will not change the serial number value so this is column B this is column C and this is column D and also here this will be 1 this will be 2 and this will be 3 so we check and confirm it okay what will we do now Now there is uh, another a task I have to confirm that is I just run the code I click here and I just change it okay change it and update it this is updated and if I write down here Anila Biswas and Kolkata update it and it is updating now but you have to confirm one thing that this value must be okay uh, I have to write down another thing and that another thing is we will hide this text box because if this text box value is empty then there may be a de debug and for this we will hide this and will another uh, we will do another thing that is after update of information will empty all of this cell okay we just go there and we will empty all the cell equal to blank and we also copy it and paste it number one number two and number three okay now 
will check a thing when we okay I just run it and give you the problem want to see you the problem that is Moina Khan Choudhury okay I update it okay now if I update it again this will be clear because there is no data now but I do not want to see this because it must contain a value and now if I do this it will it will be a problem so to prevent this problem we will have to write some code that is some condition that is if dot text box and dot text box and dot text box then 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 I will see a message box okay the message box is PLEAC please select a row okay and after that I will go to do the work ELAC else and I will end the statement end if end if so one two three and four text box okay and I just run it and if I just sorry there will be not uh, and th this will be or this will be or because one of value if it is true then it will not run so I just click it and empty this and update so it give you a message please select a row so I will I cannot uh, give this a empty position and I will must fill up it to do the task so here I can do again show Dhuri show update it okay this is the task so thank you for see the tutorial and okay